You know, we've all passed through very challenging times over the last several months. But I'm proud to report to you, after all that we've been through, standing here today because of the sacrifices the American people have made, because of the incredible dedication of our health care workers, because of the way that American businesses stepped up, every state in this country is now opened up again, and three-quarters of America's small businesses are going back to work. You know, the comeback that we're celebrating today would not have been possible without all of the efforts and sacrifices that all of you have made and companies like this made. It would not have been possible without the leadership of President Donald Trump and the partnership that we forged with states across the country. I mean, this president, before there was a single coronavirus case in America, you all deserve to know. President Trump shut down all travel from China. It bought us an invaluable amount of time to stand up our national response. It's remarkable to think also that at the end of February, when he asked me to lead the White House Coronavirus Task Force, we'd actually performed only about 8,000 coronavirus tests in the entire country. But now, because of the public-private partnership that the president forged with American commercial laboratories, we're testing roughly 60 times that number every day. We're testing 500,000 Americans a day and have performed 23 million coronavirus tests, more than anywhere in the world. And we've been giving states what they need when they need it. And I'm proud to report to you, working with the state of Michigan, we delivered more than 560 million masks and gowns and face shields and personal protective equipment for our health care workers. But it was, uh, it was those efforts by industry, those efforts by uh, the president, mobilizing a whole of government approach, even a whole of America approach, that launched our national response to the coronavirus. But ultimately, it was because of all of you that we are where we are today. Every single day, we're one day closer to putting the coronavirus in the past because of the sacrifices of millions of Americans who stayed home from work, from school, from places of worship, who closed down businesses, putting the health of their employees, their customers, and their community first. You made a real difference.